is potassium bad for you if you have kidney disease? Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Crossmer, renal dietitian, and welcome back to Plant-Based Kidneys Kitchen. Potassium is very, very important for people with kidney disease. And no, potassium is not bad for people with kidney disease. Potassium is actually something that can help lower blood pressure um, and is in or higher in a lot of foods that are protective for the kidneys. Um, where the confusion comes into play is that as kidney function declines, it becomes harder for the kidneys um, to excrete or get rid of potassium. So most potassium is excreted in the urine. As kidney function declines, um, more potassium is started to excrete in the feces to help get rid of more um, potassium. But ultimately, some people have blood potassium issues and high potassium um, levels in stage 3, 3A, 3B. Some people are on dialysis and have complete kidney failure and they don't have a potassium restriction. There's so much that goes into play. So potassium is not something that's bad for people with kidney disease. It is something that if someone with kidney disease has high blood potassium levels, then they need to restrict it. But a low potassium diet does not mean no potassium. Low potassium diet could be about 2,000, 2,500 milligrams up to about 3,000 milligrams of potassium per day, depending on the person. So this is so important. You cannot avoid all potassium. And if you tried to do that, you would be eating very highly processed, refined grain products that are not going to be healthy for you. You likely would be constipated and then you wouldn't be having good bowel movements and your bowel movements are a way to help get rid of more potassium. So Again, I want to reiterate, potassium is not bad for you if you have kidney disease, but some people with kidney disease, especially in later stages, might need to limit that. So then the question comes in, well, are bananas bad for me if I have kidney disease? Are avocados bad for me if I have kidney disease? Are tomatoes bad? And these are legit questions because those are higher potassium foods. But again, it comes down to the portion that you're consuming and then the frequency that you are consuming that higher potassium food. You could eat, you know, blueberries are a low potassium fruit. You could eat about two to three cups of blueberries for the amount of potassium that you get in one banana. Um, so if you were to just eat, you know, an entire flat and multiple cups of blueberries, that could end up being high in potassium. Or if you ate half of a banana, that could be lower in potassium. So again, it's not the fruit um, that's bad, or it's not the potassium that's bad. It's people that don't know what their labs are. They're not tracking their trends, and then they don't know what they're getting in their diet um, and how much potassium is in their food. That's what can be bad for people with kidney disease, and that's what can get people into trouble with high blood potassium levels. So high blood potassium levels are not a good thing. Some people with kidney disease struggle with high blood potassium levels, but even then, it's not that potassium's bad. It's just how much are you having, what portion, um, what frequency, and then how are you adjusting your diet based on your labs. And I fully recommend people work with a renal dietitian so that they can review your labs, your health history, your medications and supplements you might be taking, and then help you know exactly how much potassium you should be consuming. I also have a plant-based nutrition guide for people with kidney disease, and this is for all stages of kidney disease. And I provide um, some guidance on how to estimate your own individual nutrient needs. I give so much information on potassium and other nutrients important for kidney health for all fruits, veggies, legumes, whole grains, nuts and seeds, nut butters, um, plant milks, all different foods so that you can then take that information and put meals and snacks together that fit your individual needs. And so that nutrition guide, I'll put the link for in the comment section, um, but it's available um, to purchase. It is over a hundred pages. It's tons and tons of information and resources, tips for eating out, for meal planning, uh, recommended brands that are better for people with kidney disease. Um, you know, grocery shopping information, um, some information on supplements that you might want to consider if you have kidney disease and or are on a plant-based diet. Lots of information. The link is in my, um, in the comment or the caption section of this video. So you can find it there and please leave your questions in the comments. See you guys next time.